Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a rather quiet day. I have a little video I'm going to put in right here of Emma and her new baby. I gave the chickens chicken scratch, and Emma called her baby down. She says, come on down and have some chicken scratch. So that's what she's having the baby do. Look at that, how beautiful. Hello, little one. I hope you're a little girl, because it would be much better if you are. Can you believe she's already brought the baby down, and she just had the baby on Wednesday, I think it was, Wednesday or I Thursday, so. somewhere last in there. Week. The, baby was, the baby was born. And if you, were to ta if you were to get a chick from the farm store, they tell you to keep it up until it's fully feathered. Well, the mama has already got her baby out and about. She actually was in the main house with her main chicken run, the, the enclosed chicken run with her, the little baby too. So she's integrating it very well with the rest of the chickens and they're all accepting. I did put a chicken in timeout and I have another one that will be going in timeout when that one comes out. It's little ladies look alike that's in there right now and it's a, one of the dark brown ones has to go in and silver She's not broody, but she sure does sit a lot. And she was up and about and moving around, but now she's back sitting. So I don't know what Silver's trying to do. And I don't know where Emma's going to sleep tonight, if she plans to bring the baby back up into the original little brooder house, or if she's going to try and have her go up into the other chicken house. The latter is different in the other chicken house, and she'll have to jump quite a ways to get up unless she hops on Emma's back, which she has been doing, and Emma gets her close enough to the stairs and she can hop off of Emma and get up. They can always come down, but they not always can get up. I guess that is everything for today. I don't have anything else. I don't think I was... Oh, yeah, I do have something else. Don't go away. <laughs> I was just... I was thinking about this, and I was look, listening to a couple videos on it about people that spend a lot of money at dollar dollar stores. I was watching um, a video that was talking about the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and I know there's a Dollar Rama out there. We don't have a Dollar Rama, but they were saying that the Dollar Tree stores and the Dollar General stores are placed in economically strapped areas, such as poor areas. And our area is a very poor area, and people think nothing about spending a dollar versus a, a lot more and you'll find that your dollar they were saying that your dollar is not necessarily the best buy if you were to buy say they used the example of aluminum foil if you were to buy a aluminum foil at a dollar store you got so many feet but if you were to buy it at the big box stores you would get like instead of 15 feet you'd get like 18 feet something like that for the same dollar, so you would get more for your bang for your buck. And they're also increasing the food stuff that they carry in the dollar stores because if you have to drive more than 10 to 12 miles to a grocery store, chances are you don't want to go. And so they're putting more and more food into the dollar stores. You still cannot buy fresh produce, but you can buy frozen and Shelf. Highly processed. High, yes, yeah, it is highly processed. But it saves you from taking a, a run to another store. And that's what their goal is. And they're making a huge profit. They get 30 some cents per dollar, whereas Walmart gets like 20 some cents per dollar. And so that's why they're making money. And they are fooling us for buying there. I've noticed a lot of people buy there. Have you ever kept track of what you're spending? It would be curious to know what you spend in a month and then each month and then a year. I'm still tracking what we're spending per month. I have forgotten to to let you know, but we're still I'm still doing it and this month is a very expensive month because of insurances and we did a little bit of extra spending. We had to buy a battery for the motorcycle and we bought um, Bluetooth headset for the motorcycle so that's a big expense right there but otherwise um, the the actual cost of the month is not bad if you weren't to have all those extras that I've just mentioned 
Well, I hope you have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.